Shepard, I mentioned when we met on Ilium that I was dying. It's called Keprel Syndrome. It's not communicable, but I have less than a year to live. Is that what you called me here for? I wasn't worried about it. No. But as I face the end of my body's time here, I find myself dwelling on my mistakes. I had a family once. I still have a son. His name is Kolyat. I haven't seen him for a very long time. Did something happen to them? I abandoned them. Oh, not all at once. Nothing dramatic, no sneaking out in the middle of the night. No final argument or slammed door. I just did my job. I hunted and killed across the galaxy. Away on business, my wife would tell people. I was always away on business. How long has it been since you talked? Ten years. He showed me some of his schoolwork and asked if we could dance crazy. We did that when he was younger. What sort of dance is that? It's... I checked my extranet contacts. I expect an update on my next target. The console plays music. Oh, unfashionable. Kolyat jumps into the room. My father runs around in circles. I scoop him up, toss him into the air. He shrieks, laughs, and spin me. The console beeps. I put him down. Click the message. Father, he pleads. He tucks my sleeve. I need to read this, I say. I don't look at him. You never mentioned this before. Why now? When my wife departed from her body, I attended to that issue. I left Kolyat in the care of his aunts and uncles. I have not seen him or talked to him since. If we're talking about this, he must have contacted you. No, he didn't. But my condition... I've been judging my life, measuring what I've added and what I've taken away. I used my contacts to trace Kolyat. He has become... disconnected. He does what his body wills. You'll have to explain that one to me. Disconnected. The body is not our true self. The soul is. Body and soul work as one in a whole person. When the soul is weakened by despair or fear, when the body is ill or injured, the individual is disconnected. No longer whole. What's wrong with him? Is he hurt? Something happened that should not have. He knows where I've been, what I've done. I don't know his reasons, but he has gone to the Citadel. He's taken a job as a hitman. I would like your help to stop him. He is... This is not a path he should walk. You don't hire a raw rookie for a contract killing. I'm afraid someone may have seen we share a name, and assumed we share skills. I don't know why he would accept the task. To be closer to you, maybe? That thought haunts me more than any other. Maybe he name-dropped you to get hired. It's possible, but I don't think so. It doesn't seem right. My name. He should not respect it. Thane, I don't have your contacts and I don't have your tracking skills. Why do you need my help for this? I don't need your help. I want it. The last time I saw my son, they wrapped her body in sea lines. Weighted it with stones. He tries to pull from me. Calls for her. The hammer lift her off the platform. They sing like bells. The fire has gone to be kindled anew. He begs them not to take her away. They let her body slide into the water. He hits me. Don't let them. Stop them. Why weren't you? It rains. It always rains on Kaje. Warm water pours down his face. I didn't mean to make you relive that. Perfect memory. It is sometimes a burden. I'll get us to the Citadel as soon as possible. Thank you, Shepard. I'll be meditating until you need me. Samara wants a moment with you, Commander.
have no leads. What a shame. Also, according to CSEC, a drill recently passed through customs. The CSEC office may have more information. CSEC appears to be in... You'd think Citadel security would be the tightest in the galaxy. I know CSEC too well to believe that's true. I see no fewer than 14 fatal flaws a skilled assassin could exploit. Eight of them existed when I was here ten years ago. Yes? My associate is trying to find his son. We think a local criminal may have hired him. That should be easy. We don't see many drell here. There we go. One of my men reported a drell recently. And he was talking to Mouse. Interesting. Mouse? Ah, uh, petty criminal. Probably not the guy who hired your boy, but a messenger. He's a former duct rat. Runs errands for anyone who'll pay. What was it you called, Mouse? A duct rat. It's a local slang for the poor kids who grow up in the station. When they're small, they tend to play in the ventilation ducts where adults can't get to them. Aren't the ducts dangerous? Every couple of months, we pull a little body out of them. Lacerated by fan blades, broken by a deadfall, suffocated by vacuum exposure. Those are just the ones we know about. More just disappear. Maybe they get sucked into space. Maybe they fall into the protein vats the keepers run. The mouse survived long enough that he can't fit in the ducts anymore. He was one of the smarter ones, or the luckier ones. What sort of trouble has Mouse been getting himself into? Odd jobs for shifty people. Duct rats take whatever is available to get by. Data running, fencing stolen goods, selling illegal VI personalities. Actually, he was selling one of you. Me? Yeah, when you erased a file, it would say I delete data like you on the way to real errors. That's pretty extreme, Commander. Laugh it up, Garrus. Buggy, though. It crashed every half hour. The error message was about how the galaxy was at stake and you should fix the problem yourself. I've heard enough. Mouse is usually upstairs outside the Dark Star. He works out of a public comm terminal. You should pick up a copy of the Shepard VI when you talk to him. It sounds like your boy's running with the wrong crowd. Yes, I agree. If Mouse can't get you in touch with your son directly, he'll know who can. I'll help you if you need it. You don't know us, Captain. Why are you going so far to help us? I've worked at Kara for two years. Every day kids turn to crime because they've got no other choice, because their parents don't care. You're trying to save yours. He faces a dark path. We better hurry then. You didn't tell him that Kolyat plans to assassinate someone. We're gonna stop him before that happens, aren't we? Yes, we are. Thank you, Shepard. deliver it myself. That won't happen. You can count on me. Yeah, sure. I can get you two cases by the end of the day. You mouse? What are you... Oh, shit. Krios. I thought you were tired. Commander Shepard? I, I thought you died. What do you want with me? Be still, mouse. You can change your pants in a moment. How do you know Thane? Krios? He didn't... If he didn't say nothing, I ain't either. When we heard the name, I didn't think it could be the same mouse. He was a contact on the Citadel when I was active. He and some other children would gather information on my targets. You put children in danger to spy for you? Children, the poor. My people's word for their kind is Dralafa, the ignored. They're everywhere, see everything. Yet they are never seen. You gave another Drell instructions for an assassination. Who's the target? I don't know. I didn't ask. Because the people I work for? We don't have time for this. Oh, God, Thane, help me. Help me, Mouse. My son is out there, in the dark. That's why I carried for him. I thought you'd want me to. Please. Explain. He came in, said he was looking for work. He had a hollow of me, the, the one you took, Krios. 
I put the word out. Use your old contacts. Elias wanted to hire him. Elias Kellum. Tell me about Kel. Human. Moved to the Citadel about ten years ago. He was little people when you were here, Krios. He got big after the Geth attack. Lots of the big guys from before got cacked, all in them big fancy apartments up on the Presidium. Now he runs the rackets on the lower end of the ward. Shin Akiba. He's seriously bad news. One other thing. That Shepard VI you're selling? Oh shit, you heard... Look, you were dead. It was totally legal to make a VI of you. Give me a copy, we'll call it even. What? I mean, sure, yeah, absolutely. Sorry about the whole... Just so you know, there's three Volas who are patching it all the time. You just saved yourself a world of pain, kid. Yeah, right. When Kellum finds out what I've done, I won't live long. And I can't do anything about it but hide. Krios, you got any kindness for me? Put a bullet in Kellum before you go. That couldn't have been easy. Mouse knew more about my life than Kolyat ever did. He smiles up at me, broken teeth and scabby knees. Bare feet black. A dead end future looking up at me, worshipping the petty gifts I offer. I was the only good thing he had back then. But I left him as I left Kolyat. Mouse said you had a hollow of him. Yes. A foolish bit of sentimentality. I can perfectly recall every moment I spent with Mouse. He pulls at my arm. Smiles. He wants to know that I'll remember him. That anyone will remember him. I take the hollow. He smiles at himself in miniature on my palm. Then a frown crinkles his brow. He pats my pockets, checking for other hollows. Where's your son, Krios, he asks. Don't blame yourself. If I don't, who will? We must carry the weight of our decisions, Shepard. You, of all people, know this. Let's head back to Bailey. Yes? Can we talk about my associate's son? You talked to Mouse? Did you get the name of the guy he's working with? Elias Kellum. Kellum? Oh, shit. Ah, uh, look, this is awkward. Kellum and I have a, an agreement. He doesn't cause too much trouble and buys tickets to the CSEC charity ball from me. In return, I ignore him. He pays you off. You were eager to help us before. What about now? Is it too inconvenient? I said I'd help. It's just there'll be repercussions if I don't handle it right. He and I give each other space. It keeps the peace. I'll get some of my people to bring him in and set him up in a private room. You can interrogate him yourself. I'll stay out of sight, and if I'm lucky, Kellum will believe that I had nothing to do with it. Bring him in. We might not have much time. I'll make it happen. Wait here. We've got Kellum. Tell Bailey we're ready. He'll expect me to get him out of this. Not today, I think. Captain, his lawyer's here. Bet Elias has his VI sent to page him if CSEC gets within 10 meters. I'll stall him. Get in there and work fast. We should question him together. Keep the pressure on. Thoughts on how we approach it? You talk to him. Appeal to his self-interest. I'll put the screws to him if he needs it. Very well. I'll pretend to be on his side. But if we waste too much time negotiating, Bailey won't be able to stall Kellum's advocate. Get me out of these restraints, Bailey. Pretty funny bringing me down here like this. Who the hell are you two?
You ordered a hit on someone. You're gonna tell me who. The only person I'm talking to is my advocate. Here's how it works. I ask a question, you answer the question. You speak when you're spoken to. Who the fuck you think Mr. you are? Kellum, I don't believe you were paying attention. Nice. You just handed me your job. Hit me again and I'll take your money too. I'm gonna straighten you out. As soon as Bailey gets here. Just tell us what we need to know. My associate isn't very patient. What are you, frog boy? His little sidekick? What, kid? You gonna bore me into confessing? You ain't shit. Come Works on. for me. No! Do you know what I'll do to you when I get out of here? Keep it up, tough guy. You'll leave in a bag. Go to hell. He's up. He's no use to us dead. Are we done here? Because I got people to see. I'm done being ah! patient. Give me a name or I'll cut your balls off and sell them to a Krogan. Joram! Joram Talid. Dorian in the 800 blocks. He's unconscious. No need to wake him up, I think. I'm not shedding any tears. Not over the likes of him. I'd hope to avoid unnecessary bloodshed. Pure results come from pure methods. I worry about what is yet to come. What's the story? Why'd Kellum hire the boy? Assassination. A Turian named Joram Talid. You know him? Joram? Yeah. You might have seen his posters around. He's promising to end organized crime on the ward. Thing is, his message is all mixed up in race politics. He's anti-human. Are things so bad that people can openly campaign as anti-human? Before the Battle of the Citadel, the alien population thought we were violent upstarts. Look what's happened since then. A human fleet guarding the station for months? C-Sec filled with humans? Anderson does what he can, but some people have lived on the station since before humans had starships. They see it as a coup. I don't give a damn what Joram's politics are. This is about Thane's son, not him. You might not care, but the people who live here do. Sergeant, get a patrol car. These two need to get to the 800 blocks. Yes, sir. There he is. How do you want to play this? Follow to lead on the maintenance catwalks. Tell me what he's doing. The Krogan bodyguard will make him easy to follow. Where will you be? The darkest corner with the best view. Amon Kira, Lord of Hunters. Grant that my hands be steady, my aim be true, and my feet swift. And should the worst come to pass, grant me forgiveness. It's been wonderful talking with you all. I hope you'll come out on election day. You can count on it. Sh I'm on him, Thane. He's talking to some voters. Understood. You're in position? Yes. It's been wonderful talking with you all. I hope you'll come out on election day. This is valuable. Have you got him? Looks like he's talking to another voter. Any sign of call yet? No. I'm moving to another position. Ahead of him. It's been wonderful talking with you all. I hope you'll come out on election day. I've got him. Target in sight. No. 
I see him. I'm almost in position. He's letting the bodyguard do all the work. That lets him deny involvement. I see him. One of his guards is talking to the bartender. Looks like a shakedown. I'm relocating to the next room. Let me know if anything changes. No sign of trouble. What's he doing? He's meeting a couple of mercenaries. Looks like the same group his bodyguard comes from. He looks nervous. Could be he's noticed you. Maybe he saw Kolyad in here somewhere. Also a possibility. There are obstructions ahead. I'll try to go around. Don't lose him. You're running for office. Lots of people watch you. Yes, sir. Hey, who are you? What are you doing back here? What am I doing here? What are you doing here? What? Do you have any idea how dangerous it is here? Dangerous? Get out of here, now, before it blows! Blows? What the- Run! All right! <laughs> I can't believe that actually worked. I need you to stay close or we'll lose him. Vane! I saw him. He's heading to Khalid's apartment. Call yet. This... this is a joke. Now... now you show up. Help me, Drell. I'll do whatever you want. C-Sec. Put the gun down, son. Get out of my way. I'm walking out. He's coming with me. They'll have snipers outside. I don't need your help. What the hell? Talib, get the hell out of here. Yeah, yeah, I will. Take the boy into custody. You son of a bitch! Your father and I have killed a lot of people. You have it. There's no reason you should start. I read his files. What made it all right for him to kill all those years? I was six when the Hanar began to train me. I didn't know any better. Your mother woke me from my battle sleep. Then why did you leave her? Why weren't you there when she died? Your mother. They killed her to get to me. It was my fault. What? After her body was given to the Deep, I went to find them. The Trigger Men. The Ringleaders. I hurt them. Eventually killed them. When I went back to see you, you were... 
older. I should have stayed with you. I guess it's too bad for me you waited so long, huh? Kolyat, I've taken many bad things out of the world. You're the only good thing I ever added to it. This isn't a conversation you should have in front of strangers. Boys, take Kolyat and his father back to the precinct. Give them a room and as much time as they need. You're doing him a favor, Bailey. Thanks. Yeah, well, send me a Christmas card or something. I have to get back to the precinct. Come on, I'll give you a lift. Been in there a while. Yeah, the kid's been through a lot. I ran some searches in the CSAC archive. About ten years back, a bunch of real bad people were killed. Like someone was cleaning house. The prime suspect was a drill. We never caught him. Someone like that is trouble you don't want to deal with. Someone's got to deal with it. Doesn't have to be me, though. How'd it go? Our problems are... They aren't something I can fix with a few words. We'll keep talking, see what happens. Your boy shot some people. No one I feel sympathy for, but there it is. That kid goes through the system. We both know he's there for the rest of his life. Those guys were a waste of skin. Scales. Whatever. If you've got another suggestion, I'm listening. Give him a job. He can work off his debt to society, and you can keep an eye on him. It sounds like more work for me, and I can't just deputize him into CSEC. You have to go through channels. I didn't say have him work for CSEC. I said have him work for you. Interesting. I'll think about it. Thank you, Captain. 